Paul is lying, Luke is lying, John is lying, Matthew and Mark. Let me put them also a liar. I'm going to now take my time to decimate his arguments, but I'm warning him now. Anytime you attack, don't be upset when I embarrass your prophet and your deity. Now let's talk about deception since you ran. In chapter 3 of your Quran, your God is called Khairul Makarim, the greatest of all deceivers. He makes even Satan look honest because your God is a wicked liar and a deceiver. In chapter 8, verses 43 to 44 of the Quran, your God is so impotent and powerless. He had to lie to your your prophet in a dream, making it seem to your prophet that the people at batter were less than they were. So talking about lie, your God is the most wicked, evil, imposter, deceiver. He makes Satan look honest. Now let me show you, Paul, why he's better than your God and Muhammad. We do not use deception. So wait, Paul, you're saying you're better than Allah and Muhammad? Allah says, I'm the greatest deceiver of them all. Muhammad told Muhammad bin Maslama, you can use deceit to murder Kaab ibn al-Ashraf. Glory to Jesus. He's delivered you into my hands because you don't know what you're messing with.